supposed to be my dad's book, so I guess this kind of brings back memories for me. I did play on the Amiga a couple of times with my dad, and I think my most fondest memory of playing the Amiga with my dad was definitely when we played Bomberman together. I really enjoyed my time and I really enjoyed playing Bomberman with him. It was an awesome, an awesome, awesome time. It really was. So, uh, with that being said, I haven't really looked too deeply into this Amiga book, but as you can tell, it's really, really old. It has over 100 games inside, which is pretty impressive, actually, and has loads of tips and information and mini reviews of Amiga games, which is really cool. If we go back to the back of the book, we can see here that there is an index, so it actually displays all of the games inside this Amiga book right at the back, which is really, really cool and helpful. So, um, yeah, the funny thing is, I don't think Bomberman is in this particular guidebook, unfortunately. I wish it was, and I'm not too familiar with the titles. Um, apart from Sim City, of course, everybody knows Sim City, right? So, I've definitely heard of that one. I, I really should play some more Amiga titles. I'm into these retro kind of games, actually, so I really should do that sometime. But from the front here, uh, of course, we just have the intro to the other book. But, um, you can see the, it smells musty. <laughs> it smells really musty. But you can tell it's old. The, the pages have yellowed. But that's okay. I think, I think my dad definitely kept this in pretty good condition. Considering how old this book actually is. But the first game we have here is called R. <laughs> I like that. There's actually a game called R. That's crazy. So it says that this this game was actually one of the first games to show off the Amiga's graphics. So wow, that's crazy. The game features you as a big and nasty creature, either a horned cyclops or a fire-breathing lizard with a vicious whipping tail. That actually sounds pretty cool for one of the first Amiga games, actually. I like that. Uh, let's see, you go around smashing up various buildings around the world, from western forts to Japanese temples. Wow, okay, the objective of your quest is a set of giant eggs, which the humans have stolen from the sacred temple. You must smash the buildings and trample the people attacking you until an egg is found. Wow, that sounds like a pretty brutal game of like one of the first entries for the Amiga. I never did see my dad playing that one. Um, so that's quite interesting. Actually, let's see. There's a game here called Argonoid as well. It looks like it's a space themed game of some kind. You're apparently a poor space traveler who has been trapped by the evil doe menacing in a strange realm comprising of a series of rooms filled with colored bricks. What? It sounds kind of like Tetris. Strange. Interesting. Then there's one called Austerlitz. That's kind of hard to pronounce. I don't know if I exactly pronounced that correctly. I have no idea, but it's very interesting. I love to find out about the history of games. I find that stuff really, really interesting. I still sometimes go back to the Super Nintendo and other really old, like, titles and consoles, 
sounds like I have such an obsession with video games that the origins of games really interest me as well. So this stuff is really, really interesting to learn and learn about, in my opinion. There's also a Batman game here. Oh my god, the Dark Knight made his first appearance on the Amiga. Wow, that's so cool. Batman, the Caped Crusader. It sounds cool. There's some pictures here as well of the actual game. I like that. This actually includes pictures from the game too. I actually haven't picked up my dad's collection yet. He actually has a huge collection of Amiga games, like all labelled and everything. And my brother did say that I could have that collection as well. So I need to pick that up at some point too. Um, so, of, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to get that as well at some point. I don't know if my dad still had the actual console. I'm hoping that he did. Well, it's more like a computer. The Amiga, I think, is more like a, an actual computer. So I don't know. I'm hoping that I can get my hands on it. I would love to. That would be so cool. We have Battle Squadron here, Beach Volley, and Blood Winch or something. Interesting, interesting games. Wow, what is this? Wow, this must be some kind of map. That's amazing. This book is really detailed. I wonder how much my dad actually paid for this when it first came out. Really curious, but I honestly have no idea. Um, so we have a game called Bomb Bombusol or something. I'm pretty sure it was the me the Amiga that I played Bomberman with him on. But yeah, I'm a bit sad that it's not actually in this book. I would have really loved to have seen that actually. Let's see, we got some more games there. We got Castle Master with this awesome map, which looks really interesting. As well, Chase HQ Conqueror. I could spend all night just reading and learning about all these old games, and I guess in particular makes me interested because my dad played these games too and was really into this stuff. Um, so yeah, it's really interesting. My dad actually worked in the arcades, so this stuff was definitely. Um, his kind of thing, so it's really cool. We've got Corporation here. I'm not sure what this is all about. Is the game called Corporation? It might just... I'm not sure what this page is about, actually. But there is a ton of information here. It is crazy. I really love these maps. They've done a, such a good job on these maps, if you ask me. Indeed, now got a uh, dragon slayer and dungeon master. Very cool. I like that. This is Damocles or something. And we got some tips on all the puzzles. I mean, I guess back in the uh, you know when the internet wasn't su such a huge thing. This would be the only way that you would be able to get tips on, you know, games and figure out how to complete them. So back when the Amiga released, it was almost essential to buy these guidebooks because otherwise it's either you buy a guidebook on some tips or you struggle your way through the games. So it's really interesting to see how different gaming is now to what it was back then and games back in these times were really difficult too. So it's really interesting to see how they've developed and stuff. I don't know what these are. Oh, these might be codes. Um, I know in some of the really old games you could input codes to select a level and stuff. So at least they did have stuff like that in 
some of these older titles to, of course, help you out a little bit throughout your gaming adventures. We have Double Dragon here. It says, this game caused a lot of trouble when it appeared in its original form under the name Catechist due to its similarity to another shoot 'em up Oh, did people get confused? <laughs> is a horizontally scrolling shoot 'em up uh, they call those shumps now right I'm pretty sure I haven't played too many shoot 'em ups actually I've played a couple of cutesy ones I played like a witch one quite some time ago so I have played a few but not many we have dragon slayer it says Don Bluth's ground breaking laser disc coin op made a hell of an impact when it first hit the arcades used as an example of the possibilities opened up by laser discs dragon slayer featured disney style animation and high quality sound in an interactive form that's really interesting disney style animation in an amiga game not what i would expect but interesting for sure wow there's so many it looks like there are loads of discs that can't be it right why does it say disc one disc two disc three disc four five and six were there ma that many discs surely not that would be crazy right i remember back on the old systems when they would have like three or four different discs and you'd have to keep getting up and changing them all the time what a pain in the butt that used to be we have dungeon master here it's very cool i love how it's displaying all the equipment the food you got dragon steak interesting drumstick cheese bread corn apple screamer slice that sounds nasty worm round and then we have all the equipment like a pendant the gem of ages moonstone crown of nera very cool and then you've got keys down here there's the the skeleton key everybody's heard of that one right and then we've got these interesting creatures down here the chaos knight very cool it even displays what level they are as well so the chaos knight is level 12 so this is really useful information for sure and then over here we got some potions and stuff wow this guy, this guide seems really cool i guess oop, i guess the only thing i have to be careful with this book but i guess the only thing i would say is i wish it was in color but then again i guess it would take away from how old this actually is you know so uh it's really cool just to see how retro it is i think these are maps even more maps lots and lots of maps so yeah we have escape from the planet of robot monsters that sounds like a, a very long title for a game doesn't it future of wars the time traveler this was by EA. Wow, just goes to show how long EA have been going for. So like eons at this point. I'm gonna skip some pages here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of content in here for sure. Oh look, we found Robocop. They actually had a game in the on the Amiga. So interesting. But yeah, I think I'm gonna stop uh, here for now. I hope you enjoyed. I just wanted to have a little look through this Amiga book with you. Oh, it actually says the price. This was $9.95, so nearly £10. That's really interesting. Wow, that's a, I would say that's a pretty decent price for you know how much detail is actually in this book so i'm very impressed by that actually 